Are you looking forward to the Euros then? Oh, definitely. I love international tournaments. I don't think Germany or Spain are going to win it. Then who is? England? Maybe. No, no, I don't think England will. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if England struggle to get out of the group. I'm not saying we won't get out of the group, but I think we might struggle to get out of the group. We've been here before in groups which should have been easy and we've ended up getting knocked out. Are we going to beat Wales? See, this is the thing. I, I think that... I think that we're actually going to draw that game. Well, let's start with Marseille. OK. What's going to happen there? Oh, carnage, definitely. But there's a history of it when we played there in uh, 98 and there's a lot of... There's a lot of good people going to this tournament, I know that much, and there's also a bit of um, hostility from people within Marseille as well. And we're going to beat the Russians? I think so, yeah. And then you say we're going to struggle to beat Wales? Yeah, I think we'll draw with that. It'll be a frustrating draw. And then a... Not so much frustrating, more like a sort of necessary draw with Slovakia. Do you like Slovakia? Not at all. Who else don't you like in this competition? Spain. Why? Just arrogant uh, cheats, basically. Can't stand them. Um, can't stand Portugal for the same reason. They're just one and the same anyway. What about Ronaldo? Yeah, he's all right. He's OK. What about the original Ronaldo? I prefer him. You like Brazil, don't you? Yeah, they, they, they let me down a bit at the World Cup. Uh, in not, not in terms of performance, but in terms of the way that... Just the way everything was in that tournament. But I still, still love Brazil. Was it a bit plastic? It was very plastic. I mean, you know, Brazil, ethnically, is at least 50% black or mixed, right? Their crowds were virtually all white. Now, I'm not saying this from a racial point of view, I'm just saying is that it tends to be there's a bit of a class racial divide in Brazil. The problem was the class of people going, yeah? But all these people, they were just, they were just there for entertainment. They, they clearly knew nothing about football. They knew, they didn't know when to cheer or, you know, have any kind of natural passion for the game, is what I'm saying. But obviously Brazil aren't in this competition. That's correct. Tell me someone else that is in the competition that you don't like. Sweden. I hate Sweden so much, you wouldn't know it. Why? It's just always annoyed me. It annoys me on a on a league basis with Blues or whoever, where there's always one team that you actually are better than, but you just can never beat them. And that was for years, obviously, Sweden for us. I mean, numerous games even before I started watching. Euro 92 was an absolute joke when we got knocked out by them. Um, we did biz, uh, bismally against them qualifying for Euro 2000. World Cup 2002, thought we'd got it together, still couldn't beat them. Even 2006, we actually topped the group, but we still managed to blow the game against them. And that's why, at the last Euros, it was so, so enjoyable to beat them and knock them out. Really one of my best moments. In your life? Yeah, why not? Romania. You don't like Romania? Yeah. Why is that? Just had some bad experience with the uh, Romanian people recently. Maybe that's a bit shallow of me. I don't know. So how far will England get? Quarterfinals at best. Are we going to lose on penalties? No, no, no. It'll just be a straight terrible performance in 90 minutes. What I can say is that it absolutely surprises me that Italy and Portugal aren't given better odds. Those are teams, especially Italy, that can win tournaments. And as an outside bet, I'd like to see Turkey do well. Why? I used to hate them, but then they, they really, they've really grown on me. I think they were brilliant at the uh, 2008 finals. They were very entertaining there. And plus, I had some very good Turkish food the other day. So there's a place in my heart for Turkey. You like Turkish people? I love Turkish people, Dave, honestly. Do you prefer Turkish people to Romanian people? Yes. Would you rather see England win the Euros mm. or Blues get promoted? England win the Euros. Why? Because it just won't happen again, will it? Blues could be promoted. Traffic jam. <laughs> I'm going to name a few England players and you're going to tell me what you think about them. Joe Hart. I like him. He seems like a funny bloke, actually. I don't think he's actually anything like as good as people say he is, though. I think he... I seem to remember him being very dodgy with us and I've seen little bits of that dodginess for Man City and England. Jack Wilshire. I just don't like him, he's Arsenal. And he's a twat, isn't he? Yeah. 
Jamie Vardy. Yeah. Um, I'm not sold on him as a person, but as a footballer, as long as he does exactly what he did this season, I won't have a problem. Deli Alley. Yeah, I like him. Marcus Rashford. Yeah, all right. Could he be the star of the tournament? No. I don't like Raheem Sterling. Why not? Just a money grabbing fucking twat, actually. Harry Kane. Yeah, I like Harry Kane. Very good player. Seems like a nice guy as well. Chris Smalley. I like him. I like him. Yeah. Wayne Rooney. Yeah, I should hate him, but I still like him. Do you wish Gareth Bale was English? Not really. So there are quite a few England players in this squad that you actually like. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely one of the most likeable England squads in a while. You could get behind this lot. Yeah, I mean, it, when it was John Terry, Steven Gerrard, Frank Lampard. You can't like those people. Albania going nowhere.